Hello, it's Jeanette with Geo Amazing Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back with another video tutorial, and today's tutorial is actually a revised version of a little uh, rocking baby cradle that I had. Uh, I did a video on it about October 2015, and uh, we're no longer selling the tools that I used at Stampin' Up! So I decided to uh, do this in a revised version of it using the tools that we now carry. Okay, do you see the little baby in there? You see the little teddy bear and the stamp that have put Hello Baby in on the back? I put another little teddy bear with some stars. And yes, it does rock. See? Isn't that cute? Now inside I have uh, a couple of uh, Hershey Kisses that are wrapped and I did have a tutorial about one year ago on how to make this. Uh, it's really really simple so check out my video I think February 23rd it was called Baby Shower Favors something like that but I'll leave a link to it uh, on the bottom of the video that way. <laughs> okay so let's get started. What you're going to need is a piece of designer series paper. This one is in So Saffron. The one that I'm going to be doing <clears throat> is going to be in pool party and you're going to need a piece that measures four inches by about six and a half inches okay and you're also going to need a piece of pool party cardstock because you do need something a little bit more sturdy for this little rocking mechanism here so we're going to use cardstock for that and also you're going to need something if you want to decorate it with this little baby here and the little teddy bear uh, you're going to need a piece of whisper white just a small piece would do okay so let's get started what you're going to need is two different die sets um, this is the uh, oh, let me grab it this is the layering squares oh I got the wrong package here layering squares framelits okay and then you're also going to need some of the layering ovals framelits Okay, so what you're going to need to do is take the largest of each die set of the scalloped shape. Okay, and you're going to take that to your big shot and you're going to cut that out like that. Okay, and then you're going to also need from the ovals is the smallest of the uh, scalloped ovals and you're going to need to cut yourself out too. Okay, but I'm going to stamp on this first before I cut it out. But let me just go ahead and cut this out and we'll get started because the um, the rocking mechanism is the last thing that we put on. So I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to take this to the big shot and I'm going to use my magnetic platform and I'll be right back. Okay. And then... <clears throat> You're going to need to bring out your Simply Scored Scoring Tool. And this is so easy. Okay, let's put this up here. And I'm going to I'm going to do the big one first. I'm, I mean, I'm going to do the oval first. Okay, now if you look on this oval, um, it, it might be hard to see, you know, that you're getting it perfectly straight. But I go by the two little oval, I mean two little scallops on the end. And I put that, make sure they're both touching. And then I know it's pretty straight right there. Okay, and you're going to need to uh, get your stylus and you're going to need to score at one inch and then turn it around and do the same, scoring it at one inch. Okay, and then you're going to turn it this way and you're going to score it at three quarters of an inch okay and that's all the scoring for the oval and now on the on the scallop square you're gonna just score it <coughs> excuse me at uh, three quarters of an inch on just three sides so you're gonna have one side that is oops three quarters of an inch <laughs> you're gonna have one side that is not scored okay so three quarters of an inch, one, two, three sides. Okay, and that's all the scoring that you're going to need to do. <clears throat> okay, now let's put this together, and it's really, really simple. Uh, but you do need to um, fold and burnish your score lines. Let's get your bone folder. And 
Now I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm going to just cut up the score line here. I try to ignore that one score line that I made it. I actually, actually accidentally made it at an inch, but it's going to be fine. Okay, so I'm just cutting it and you can notch in if you want to. I'm not notching it up. What I'm doing is I'm just cutting off that score line. Okay, we're going to cut off what we cut off and then you're going to also cut just that uh, that little scallop on the corners you're going to cut those off okay and so you're left with this and then um, let me bring in my simply scored I mean my silicone craft sheet sorry about that and I'm going to bring in my fast views and I'm going to put this together like you're putting together a little box Now see, if you don't cut off those uh, little scallops on the corners, then um, they kind of don't look right. Uh, you you know, they kind of um, mess up the scallops here, the design on that side. Okay, so now you're left with this little open, open piece right here. Okay, so we're going to take the, uh, the oval and uh, we are going to be cutting with your paper snips. You're going to just cut up that score line to this score line here okay so I'm just cutting off the score lines that's all I do all right now make sure that they're flush in the back or in the front actually okay and then I'm going to get some fast views on here and on here and then I'm going to go ahead and put that together like this. Okay, one like that and one like that. So you've got this top part of the, the cradle made. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of fast fuse right here. And then I'm also going to take a couple of mini glue dots. And I'm going to put mini glue dot right here on the inside. See right there. And then I'm going to put another mini glue dot on the other side, right here. Oop. I just flung my mini glue dot. I don't know where it landed, but I'm sure it's going to stick to something. Okay. And then you're going to take this and you're just going to go ahead and butt it up to the to the edge on the back of the of the little cradle. And with those mini glue dots, just kind of press in. until you've got it together like this. Okay. There you go. Now, of course, you're going to do a neater job than I am doing right now. Right? <laughs> okay. Just wanted to make sure that it was flush on the bottom there. Okay. And so I've already got one of my little um, uh, candies that I'm putting in here made. So let's, let's uh, put the, the little rocking mechanism on here and before I do that I, I'd like to stamp uh, an image on here and that stamp that I'm going to be using is from uh, the babe the moon baby stamp set and this is new uh, this uh, uh, is from the occasions catalog 2017 and what I did was I stamped the baby but I didn't stamp it all the way okay all I did was just take my uh, my my black Wick. Actually, we're not doing that part yet. Duh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm, I'm going to stamp Hello Baby. That's the one I'm going to do. Okay. With this cardstock here. So let's get that. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and stamp it in some basic black. Okay. You can get out your big pad. I just happen to have my little pad with me there. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just stamp the teddy bear with the star. Okay, and I actually cut my stamp. See, the stamp set comes like this. So you get three, a teddy bear, a bunny rabbit, and um, and a sheep. I guess it's a little sheep. And so I just cut it, and you can do that with your stamp, but if you do, just be aware that um, if you, you're you going to try to return the stamp set, it kind of makes the stamp set a little null and void because, you, after all, you cut the stamp. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, stamp this teddy bear 
on this side here and then I'm going to just take the little star there's there's a set of three stars in here and then there's one little star and I'm gonna take that star and I'm just gonna uh, stamp one on each side of the teddy bear and I just kind of messed it up but <clears throat> that's okay this is just for um, um, learning purposes so okay so let's take the smallest oval and I'm going to take this to the big shot and I'm going to uh, oh <clears throat> I forgot I wanted to do a couple of, st of stars right here and one right here okay and like I said it's a little bit messed up but let's try it on the other side yeah let's do that <laughs> we want to make it nice and neat Okay, we're going to do it right here. Okay, and we're going to take the little star and we're just going to tap the little star there and the little star there. You don't have to press too hard, otherwise it you kind of get a little black on the edges. Okay, now I'm going to turn that around and I'm just going to stamp the teddy bear. And, and it just barely fits the stamp. <clears throat> okay, and I'm just going to just add a couple more little stars next to the teddy bear. And then I'm going to take this to the Big Shot, and we're going to just cut that out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here are my two little uh, rocking mechanism ovals. Okay, now what we're going to do, before I put that in there, I'm going to take some tear and tape, and I'm going to just put a strip of tear and tape just along this bottom edge here. My paper snips. Okay, and then also on the bottom edge on this side. paper piercing tool and we're going to remove that backer paper I think she says okay there it goes okay now this is the back of the um, of the crib so I want the the teddy bear with the stars and don't forget I stamped it on the other side so I want the teddy bear with the stars going to make sure that it is right side up and I am going to look at this halfway I, like I said, I always use my um, I use my my grid paper a lot for lining things up, and hopefully I've got it perfectly on the halfway mark. Okay, and we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to take the backer paper off this tape. Okay, and align this up. Whoops, that's the other side. I stamped wrong. I've got to make sure that it's going to go on right. Okay, so right there. Lining that up at the halfway mark, I'm going to put my paper down like that. Okay, and now you've got your little rocking mechanism. Isn't that cool? Okay, now I'm going to put this in here. And um, what I did is I stamped uh, the baby uh, using this stamp here. It's got an umbrella on it, okay? But you only want to just ink up just the part of the baby uh, because you're going you're going to be you know coloring him in and uh, and cutting him out. So just ink up that part of him, and also the teddy bear. Um, like I said, I cut this. Uh, I cut this stamp so that I could just have just the teddy bear, and I'm not going to even cut out that little star. I could if I want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and 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 cut that out. And for coloring, you can use any color you want. And I decided that I was going to use some pool party uh, um, marker this is our stamp and write marker and uh, it has two sides a a pen a, a pen and a brush and i just use the brush to uh, to color him in and then i fussy cut him out i colored his skin um i think on this one i i colored it pink pirouette but i really do like 
uh, this one is Blushing Bride, and I think I really do like the Blushing Bride, but I went ahead and cut it out and colored it in, and that's Pink Pirouette, and it's a little too pink for me. I think I like the Blushing Bride better. Um, okay, so I've got this done, and I've also got the Teddy Bear done, okay? I just, uh, I just colored him in with some uh, soft suede, and I'm just going to go ahead and just put a glue dot on him. Isn't he cute? And I'm just going to place the glue dot right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put this, put him in here like that. Okay. And then I'm going to just put a glue dot on the back of the teddy bear. And I'm going to put the teddy bear right here at the head, uh, at the little headboard of this little rocking cradle. And there you go. Isn't that cute? Let me bring the other one. Aren't they cute? They're just, oops, they're just so adorable cute. I really like this little design. I'm glad that I was able to redesign it using the tools that Stampin' Up! now carries. The, the, you know, the layering oval and oval square dies, oval and square dies. Um, you can just make this, these two really cute rocking baby cradles for, for, uh, baby shower or whatever <laughs> you can put some money in there and use it as a gift okay well anyway i'm all done and i hope i taught you something and i hope that you try this okay and if you need any of the tools and supplies that i used in this video please go to my website at www.geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net and i'd be happy to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one so once again, I'm Jeanette with Geo Amazing Paper Crafts, and you make it a great day. Bye-bye.